Pittsburgh softball coach Jeff Sturgeon hugs his team captains, grateful to have that chance. Uh, this was my first trip to state as a coach. It was my second year at Burke. The morning of the district tournament, Sturgeon woke up with a pounding headache. By game time, the pain was overwhelming. I just thought it was just your typical migraine through the first you know, few innings. He had to leave, and when he tried coaching the second game, the pain benched him again. On the way home, it got even worse. We got about halfway, and I said, you know, th this is probably going to be a hospital visit. That hospital visit changed his life. They came back, they had done run the scan, and they said they had found a, a, a large... <clears throat> yeah, forgive me, <laughs> just a second. Uh, you know, they find a, found a large mass. A tumor the size of a baseball in the front of surgeon's brain. Hearing, you know, that you have a brain tumor, you know, because the first thing you think is cancer, you're not going to make it. They're talking surgery. Doctors wanted to do surgery the next week, sure. but the girls had just qualified for state. Surgeon said no, holding off to coach the girls in their first state appearance in 13 years. So that they would have a, a positive life experience instead of sitting there at state wondering, hey, is coach going to be okay? Their coach's pain was always there during the championship, and so was the thought that it could be cancer. The girls played for him. It was hard at first, but, you know, after thinking about it for a while, we were like, you know, we can push. If he's going to be strong for us, we can be strong for him, and we can do this together. They fell short of the title. Sturgeon had surgery soon after. Honestly, didn't think I was going to make it. I thought that I had uh, received enough positives. Uh, going through and getting that experience that I wasn't scared. Um, I felt at peace. But then a personal victory. They told me I'm 100% cancer free. The tumor was benign. Sturgeon would be back at Burke for another season, something his captains needed to hear. We have this thing of him being my like second dad and it's just crazy. When we say this is a family, we truly mean that. I'm just so thankful that he's been able to be my coach and I don't know what I'd do without him. Look forward to it. I'm excited to get back on the field with the with the girls. So I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to that. In Omaha, Sarah Feely, KETV News Watch 7. Great coach. Now, doctors think that Jeff's tumor started growing 20 years ago after a drunk driver hit him. And back on the field, the softball players call themselves Team 2 because it's Jeff's second year as head coach. And he tells us he plans to get Team 2 <laughs> tattooed on his arm. <laughs>